Hi everyone, I'm Shai. I'm part of the developer relations team here at Contentful. I'm really excited to uh, be here to teach you a little bit about GraphQL today. I wrote a little blog post about GraphQL uh, a few weeks ago, or I guess uh, the 14th, so about a week ago. And I talked about how we can make some GraphQL requests over HTTP. One of the things that I learned as I was picking up GraphQL was that you don't actually need a fancy client-side library to make a GraphQL request. All you need is uh, HTTP. So let me go ahead and and show you how we can do that in uh, five ways. So let's get started by getting ourselves a query. And to get a query, we're gonna need a GraphQL API. So I'm gonna use the Contentful GraphQL API. We can learn about that at graphql.contentful.com. And we can also go ahead and take a look at my content model really quickly. So I've got a content model that we're using here. It's got, it's got a bunch of shows, and those shows have titles and they have information. I use this for part of my fan site, my Power Rangers fan site. Uh, so there's some videos, there's some start dates, there's some end dates of when the show started airing. So let's go ahead and get the API keys. We can head over to settings slash API keys, grab my space ID, grab my content delivery access token, uh, and we can head over to Graphical using the Contentful GraphQL API. So Graphical is this really great in-browser GraphQL IDE. It lets you you know, try and write out queries. It has auto completion and it'll kind of showcase what you can do and it'll kind of customize the documentation based on your Contentful schema. So the URL for that is going to be graphql.contentful.com slash content slash v1 slash spaces, your space ID. Uh, and the magic word here is explore and then your access token. Uh, and you're going to need to use the access token query parameter for graphical. So I've gone ahead and already set that up here. So we can go ahead and we can take a look at the docs here. So there's a documentation explorer that you can get to by hitting docs and we can start figuring out what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and use a show collection. So let's go ahead and type in uh, a curly braids to get started because that's important. And then we're going to do a show collection. And let me go ahead and click into show collection and we can see that it's going to be giving us uh, a bunch of show collections. So let's go ahead and uh, click into it and we can see that we've got some items and items is going to return an array of shows so we can do some another level of curlies and then we've got our information so let's go ahead and do a title we can do the first episode we can do the last episode we can do the mp4 and then since this is an asset we're going to need to go ahead and grab the url as well so i can go ahead and prettify this and when i hit run we can see that we've got our query and it's got all sorts of information here on the right we've got our title our air dates and our videos so cool we've got our query this is what we need to get started this is an important one so we can make this request in a bunch of different ways outside of graphical so let's head over to the terminal so here's my terminal and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to write a curl request so I really like curl. It's a command line utility. It's a lot of fun. I end up using Postman a lot too as kind of an alternate way to make post and get requests as well. And tune into our Contentful live streams if you want to learn more about Postman. We'll be doing a little video with them in a couple of weeks. So let's get started by doing curl slash G. <laughs> Luckily, I've already copy pasted this into my, into my terminal. So let's go ahead and explain this really quickly. So first off, we're going to use the dash X to specify that this is a post command. We're going to use dash H to set the first of our headers. So we've got content type application JSON. We're going to set the second header and it's going to be our authorization bearer and then our token. And then we're going to provide it the data, the JSON body, which is going to be our query. And I've gone ahead and made it into a one line thing. And I've gone ahead and actually put the query inside of a string as well. And then we're going to give it the endpoint of our GraphQL API with the specific space that we're going to be using in this instance. So if I hit enter, we should get cool. We got this JSON blob back and we can see that it's got all sorts of information in it. So cool. Next up, we're going to take a look at the Python example. So since this is a Python file, we're going to be using virtual environment. You can see that I've already got one open. I've gone ahead and done a pip install for requests because I am a big fan of the requests library. And let's go ahead and take a look at the request.python file really quickly. So, oh, my big head is in the way. It's the downside of streaming. I'll duck down for everyone. We can see that we're going to start off by setting our space ID, our access token. We're going to hit our endpoint, and I'm going to be using an F string here to set up what the space ID is. Then we're going to make one of our first headers. We're going to do our authorization header here, which will, will give it our access token also via an F string. We're going to give it the query, uh, and the query is just going to be a string. 
And then we're going to use the request library to make a post. We're going to tell that, that function, hey, here's our endpoint, which is that dynamically created endpoint. Here's our JSON. And then here is our header, which is going to have our authorization. We're going to hit the Contentful GraphQL API. And if everything is cool, it'll give us a 200, which means that things were successful. If we don't get a 200, then something went wrong. And we're going to have to find out what went wrong. So hopefully this, this works on the first try. So we can go ahead and do Python request.py. And since I'm using JSON dumps, it's going to do a nice little formatting thing for me as well. I imported JSON at the beginning to get started too. So cool. We've made a request using Python. Next up is Node. So for Node, we're going to be using got. Uh, requests is no longer supported on Node, so we can do an npm install got. We can go ahead and check out our requests.js file in this instance. So let me pull up request.js. So like the Python example, we're going to use this library that helps us make requests. We're going to give it the space ID. We're going to give it the access token. We're going to give it the endpoint. We're going to give it our query. And the query is staying the same. I promise these, these ones are always going to be the same. And um, we're dynamically making our endpoint here as well. We're going to set what our headers are. So we're going to set that our access token so we can authorize into the API. We're going to say the content type. Uh, and then we're also going to stringify the query as well. So it's going to take that, this JSON object, and fix it for us. And then we're going to go ahead and make the request. And so it's going to be a post request. We definitely recommend using post requests when reaching out to the Contentful API. And if there are any errors, it will tell us and it'll let us know. So let's go ahead and see if this works. So let me go ahead and clear my terminal for us. I'm going to do node request.javascript. Cross my fingers as we reach out to the internet. And here we go. We've got our JSON body. Uh, this is a lot of fun. So I didn't pretty print it this time. So it's going to look a little rough, but you know, that's our data. We could import it and we could start building on our page. Okay. Next up is Ruby. So I'm not a Ruby expert by any means. So let's take a look at my Ruby file and hopefully some folks in the audience can reach out and tell me how I can make this better because Ruby is not a language that I'm particularly good at. So unlike the Python or the JavaScript example, we don't need to install anything. Uh, and as far as I'm aware, there aren't any fun helper libraries that make it cleaner like requests or got to. So as always, we've got our space ID, our access token, and our query. We're setting up our endpoint here. We're going to reach out to the Contentful GraphQL API. So here we're going to set our headers. We're setting our request as a post request. We're setting our content type as an application JSON. Our authorization as that bearer token. We're setting the request body as that query. We're going to make the HTTP request, and then we're going to output it with puts, and we're going to also be able to see the body as well. Uh, and so we can run this file really quickly with ruby.requests.rb. So let's go ahead and head back to the terminal. So let me clear this and do ruby requests.rb. And there we go. We've got our, our outputted JSON body, and then we have our data. So now we have it in Ruby as well. So next up, we're going to close close this example with PHP. So I, I haven't used PHP in a long time. So let's see, see what this file looks like. So let me go ahead and open our PHP blob. So we can do request.php. So here we go. We've got our PHP file. As always, we've got our space ID, our access token. We're uh, building the endpoint. So we'll need that in a second. Uh, we've got our query as well. So this is the same query we've been using. We can go ahead and start building the JSON body, the JSON. We can set our HTTP request. So we're saying, hey, this is the headers. This is the method we're using. The, the content that we want to give, which is going to be this data body that we're setting up earlier. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, reach out to the Contentful GraphQL API. And so as our previous example, we don't actually need to install anything. This is just going to work as well, which is really great as long as you've got PHP installed on your system. And assuming there aren't any errors, we should get a dump of our JSON blob. So PHP requests.php. And if we're lucky, there we go. We've got our data. Uh, we've got some other stuff coming along as well, but we've got our data. And now if you're using PHP, you can use the Contentful GraphQL API. So this is pretty fun. Hopefully this uh, inspires you to get going. If you're looking for this code in a place where you can copy paste it, just head over to the Contentful blog uh, and look for this GraphQL blog post. If you're looking to learn more about just the Contentful GraphQL API, you can do graphql.contentful.com and that'll take you to our GraphQL 
reference, which is pretty fun. And as always, uh, check us out on contentful.com slash developers. We stream every week and we keep the full live streaming schedule up on this developer portal. And I hope you join us on Tuesday. That's it for me. I will talk to y'all later. Bye everyone.